NXL A-Level Maths, Statistics, October 2021, Question 5. The heights of females from a country are normally distributed with a mean of 166.5 centimetres and a standard deviation of 6.1 centimetres. Given that 1% of females from this country are shorter than k centimetres, for part A, we need to find the value of k. So we're modelling h, the heights of the females, as a normal distribution with a mean of 166.5 and a variance of 6.1 squared. And we're told that the probability that h is smaller than k is 1% or 0.01. So if your calculator can do the inverse normal, you can just put in an area of 0.01 with the mean and the standard deviation that we've been given, and that will give you the answer straight away. If it doesn't, and we're going to have to go from the standard normal distribution, we can put that into the inverse normal with an area of 0.01, a mean of 0, and a standard deviation of 1. Putting that in gives us minus 2.326. This is then going to be equal to the k that we're after minus the mean of 166.5 divided by the standard deviation of 6.1. So rearranging this, we get k minus 166.5 is equal to minus 2.326 times 6.1, giving us an answer of 152.3. Part B, we need to find the proportion of females from this country with heights between 150 centimetres and 175 centimetres. So we're looking for the probability that H is between 150 and 175. So we're going to use our normal cumulative distribution with a lower of 150, upper bound of 175, standard deviation of 6.1 and a mean of 166.5. Put them into the calculator we will get an answer of 0.915. A female from this country is chosen at random from those with heights between 150 centimetres and 175 centimetres. For part C, we need to find the probability that her height is more than 160 centimetres. So we're looking for the probability that H is larger than 160, given that we're already choosing from between 150 and 175. So using our normal formulae for probability, this is going to be equal to the probability of the intersect of h larger than 160 and h between 150 and 175. And that is divided by the probability of h being between 150 and 175. But looking at the numerator of this fraction, if we've got the intersect of h being larger than 160 and between 150 and 175, well, this means that h must be between 160. And 175. We can now work out both of these on our calculator. First one by using the lower bound of 160 and the upper bound of 175. Bottom one, the lower bound of 150, upper bound of 175, along with our mean and standard deviation as given in the question. And we'll end up with 0 0.7749 over 0 0.9148 that we found in part B, which gives us an answer of 0 0.847. The heights of females from a different country are normally distributed with a standard deviation of 7.4 centimetres. Mia believes that the mean height of females from this country is less than 166.5 centimetres. Mia takes a random sample of 50 females from this country and finds the mean of her sample is 164.6 centimetres. For part D, we need to carry out a suitable test to assess Mia's belief making sure we state our hypothesis clearly and we're going to use a 5% level of significance. So I'm going to let x represent the height of females from the second country. Our null hypothesis is that mu, the mean, is still 166.5 as it was before and h1 is that mu is less than 166.5 which is what Mia believes it to be. We're modelling from a sample now, so we can use x bar for the sample. It's still a normal distribution. In a sample, the mean stays the same, 166.5, but our variance becomes our old variance, so 7.4 squared, 
from the standard deviation we've been given, but this time divided by the size of a sample, so over 50. We can now use this to find the probability that X bar is less than 164.6, which is the mean that Mia found from her sample. To do this, we're going to put it into the calculator. We're going to use the normal cumulative distribution with a lower limit of something suitably small, I've got for zero, and an upper bound of the 164.6 that we're working with. Our standard deviation is the square root of our variance, so 7.4 over root 50, and our mu is 166.5 as before. Putting these into the calculator, we get that the probability that x bar is less than 164.6 is 0 0.0347, well, this is less than 0 0.05, from our 5% level of significance. So because it's lower than our level of significance, it is a significant result. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis. There is evidence to support Mia's belief. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.